because everyone's dressed up. It's a Saturday night. Let's start things properly. Let's have a round of applause for the ladies. Let's have a round of applause. Yeah, let's have a round of applause for the ladies. Yeah, yeah, quite right, yeah. It's, actually, that's, that's probably enough. Looking around, some of them have made no effort. <laughs> You've not made an effort, have you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless him. Oh, no lie. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> and so your comment there is, I haven't made much of an effort. Well, there's some cameras and some fucking lights. I don't know what you had in mind. <laughs> it's not like I come to your work and knock the sailor's cocks out your mouth, is it? Very weird thing from a quite a tough looking man from Glasgow to say, Oh, you've not made much of an effort. I thought you'd be dressed up prettier. <laughs> it's a little bit prison rape coming from you, sir. <laughs> That's what it feels like. My point there's an incredible amount of pressure on women these days to be beautiful and thin, and all I can say is, We've got some very brave girls in here this evening, really. <laughs> Terrific stuff. No, there are some stunning looking women in here this evening and some right dogs. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> I'm joking. No one in here is stunning. <laughs> a lot of people say women get more attractive after a couple of drinks, but I think they lose a lot of their charm vomiting and pissing in the street. <laughs> Welcome to Glasgow. <laughs> Good, well, that's. That's pretty much the first half of my show, ladies and gentlemen. But it's mainly me talking in the first half. Any questions so far? Anything else you'd like to know? Yes. yes. Oh, I'm going to presume all the questions are for me. <laughs> if, that's... if I'm not being too starry and arrogant. <laughs> Although there's something about my name in this town. <laughs> Jimmy! Just sounds right. <laughs> Go on, what was the question? Yes, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's one of Wittgenstein's theorems. <laughs> um, you'd suck off his mum. <laughs> He's done you. He has done you. I, I, I'm not from Perth, so I may never have to make that decision. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. You sound like you come from a very broken home. I'm not suggesting you fucked your mum, but only because you wouldn't want to two-time your sister. <laughs> um, I do a lot of gigs for people less fortunate than me. Only last week I was in Stoke. <laughs> for those of you that don't know, it's sort of the, the English equivalent of Dundee. <laughs> Are there people in from Dundee? Oh, there's some girls in from Dundee. That's good, because I've got money for chips and I wouldn't mind sex. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact the girls from Dundee applauded that. <laughs> Just the, uh, yeah, you're going, yeah, fuck chips, chip. <laughs> should, I, should I do my impression of me seducing a girl from Dundee? That's all you need. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking marvellous. Um. <laughs> Why do I laugh like a sexual predator? <laughs> I like the way that a sexual predator sounds better in your accent than any other. A sexual predator. I, I, I don't know why I laugh like that. It's one of life's mysteries. In the same way as why you dressed as a gay lumberjack. <laughs> we, we may never know. I like big, thick logs. Hmm. Yeah. How big's my cock? Well, I'm, I'm not sure whether your mother would be comfortable discussing it, but it's... <laughs> 
Truth be told, it's quite small, but it smells like a big one. <laughs> what, sorry? Where's the weirdest place I've had sex? His mum's bum. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. It was his dad's. <laughs> Any other questions? Thoughts? Why do I look like Hitler? <laughs> nine, nine, nine. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Sorry? Who? What hotel? <laughs> ah, well, it's quite a posh one, so it'll have to be your place. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think they'll, they'll let you in. They've got a policy on that sort of thing. <laughs> and even though I'm not paying you, it looks like I am. <laughs> yeah, Where's go on. Where's your best audience? What, sorry? Where's your best audience? What's the best audience? Well, without being um, sort of, you know, sycophantic, sir, without sucking up to you, he said in a very patronising manner. <laughs> uh, Glasgow's pretty good. I mean, that's why I'm recording the DVD here. But I don't know if you notice the cameras, but it's... It's, uh... It's, a, it's just a fun place. I'll, I'll tell you a quick story about Glasgow, just before, before we move on. I'll tell you the reason I'm recording the DVD here. The first time I ever came to Glasgow to play at the Stand Comedy Club, I got on the back of a taxi, yeah? And I said to the book, because I wanted to make a reference to where was rough in town. So I said, excuse me, driver, where's rough in Glasgow? And he said, for you, everywhere. <laughs> and then I was on stage later that night, yeah, on stage, and I told that story on stage, and all I said was, and I thought this was a comment that was beyond any kind of argument, all I said was, Glasgow is quite an aggressive town. And a guy down the front went, no, it fucking isn't it? <laughs> No hint of irony. No, it fucking isn't it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this place will do for me. <laughs> it's a very fun job. This is all I do for a living, Glasgow. I travel around the country, I find large groups of people with sort of the same sense of humour as me, and then I tell them jokes for the evening. It's a lovely thing to do. It means I get to go everywhere. Any, uh, any Irish people in? <laughs> oh, a few. Not that many. It sounds like, sounds like the roads in Glasgow are very nearly finished. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to think of myself as an equal opportunities offender. We've done the Irish, we've done the Welsh. Any Scottish people in? <laughs> Imagine my surprise. <laughs> Here's a question for you, my Scottish friends. If you were a homeless, alcoholic Scot and you had Tourette's, how would they ever know? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Carr, the guy you just saw in that video. Thanks for watching it, because uh, somehow I get money from that. I, I don't know how. I don't, I don't know. P probably, probably it filters through some sort of advert that you watched before you watched the video, maybe? Or maybe you subscribed? Anyway, thanks for watching it, and somehow that benefits me. And hopefully I'll see you at a live show at some point further down the sunny road. Good luck.